morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and I'm so glad you could join me. This is morning prayer for Thursday, July the 28th, 2011. The scripture for this service, Psalm 71 and 2 Samuel chapter 4, verse 1 through 12. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, in you, my God, I take refuge. Alleluia, Psalm 71. In you, my God, I take refuge, and let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me, pay heed to me, and save me. Be a rock where I can take refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked, from the grip of the unjust, of the oppressor. It is you who are my hope, my trust since my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb you have been my help. My hope has always been in you. My fate has filled many with awe, but you are my strong refuge. My lips are filled with your praise with your glory all the day long. Do not reject me now that I am old. When my strength fails, do not forsake me. For my enemies are speaking about me. Those who watch me take counsel together. They say that God has forsaken me, and they can seize me, and no one will save me. O oh God, do not stay far off. My God, make haste to help me. Let them be put to shame and destroy all who seek my life. Let them be covered with shame and confusion, all who seek to harm me. But as for me, I will always hope, and I praise you more and more. My lips tell of your justice, and day by day of your help, though I can never tell it all. My God, I declare your mighty deeds, proclaiming your justice, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth and I proclaim your wonder still. Now that I am old and gray-headed, do not forsake me. Let me tell of your power to all ages. Praise your strength and justice to the skies. Tell of you who have worked such wonders. O oh God, who is like you? You have burdened me with bitter troubles, but you will give me back my life. You will raise me from the depths of the earth. You will exalt me and console me again. And so I will give thanks to you on the lyre for your faithful love, my God. To you will I sing with the harp, to you, O Holy One of Israel. When playing to you, my lips shall rejoice in my soul, which you have redeemed. And all the day long my tongue shall tell the tale of your justice, for they are put to shame and disgraced, all who seek to harm me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. In you, my God, I take refuge. Alleluia. The lesson comes from the second letter of Samuel, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. Now when Saul's son Ishbael heard that Abner had died at Hebron, his courage failed, and all Israel was dismayed. Saul's son had two captains of raiding bands. The name of one was Baana, and the other Rechab, and they were sons of Rimmon, a Benjaminite, from Beeroth. For Beeroth is considered to belong to Benjamin. Now the people of Beeroth had fled to Gittim and are there as resident aliens to this day. Saul's son Jonathan had a son who was crippled in his feet. He was five years old when the news about Saul and Jonathan came from Jezreel. His nurse picked him up and fled, and in her haste to flee it happened that he fell and became lame, and his name was Mephibosheth. Now the sons of Rimmon the Beerothite Rechab and Baana set out about the heat of the day, and they came to the house of Ishbael. And while he was taking his noonday rest, they came inside the house as though to take wheat, and they struck him in the stomach. And then Rechab and his brother Baana escaped. Now they had come into the house while he was lying on his couch in his bedchamber. They attacked him, killed him, and beheaded him. 
And then they took his head and traveled by way of the Arabah all night long. They brought the head of Ishbael to David at Hebron and said to the king, Here is the head of Ishbael, son of Saul, your enemy, who sought your life. Yahweh has avenged my lord the king this day on Saul and his offspring. And David answered Rechab and his brother Baana, the sons of Rimmon, the Bararite, As Yahweh lives, who has redeemed my life out of every adversity, when the one who told me, see, Saul is dead, thought he was bringing good news, I seized him and killed him at Ziklag. This was the reward I gave him for this news. How much more then when the wicked men have killed a righteous man on his bed in his own house? And now I shall not require his blood at your hand and destroy you from the earth. And so David commanded the young men, and they killed them, and cut off their hands and feet, and hung their bodies beside the pool at Hebron. But the head of Ishbael they took and buried in the tomb of Abner at Hebron. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church and the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Give us a reverence for the earth as your own creation that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Comfort and heal all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ, that God who has begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who have asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and the love of you for the honor of your name. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.